Hi, my name is Jen Nielsen. I am the head butcher at Campbell's in Lithgow. And I'm here today to meet Nick Nairn to talk about our Campbell's Gold Beef and how to cook the perfect steak. Jerry, welcome back to the cook school. Good morning, Nick. Wow, what a beautiful piece of meat. Now, where is this from? This actually comes out of the turn out, Nick, I'll show you. you. Imagine I was a... Uh... Yep, it comes from just down the back here. Right, that's so it's the, the backbone back and, and the yep. ribs, that's the ribs round round that's here. That's it, there, And yep. the backbone down here. And you call this a... A loin rib. A loin rib. Just talk me through the various bits in here. From the start, we've got the whole fillet in here, Nick. The front bit here would be your Chateaubriand, or your fillet head. The back here would use for your T-bone steak. This would be your, your short cut rib and your full rib of beef, which you'd use for your roasting. Yep. I had a cocktail beef off the front. And where's the sirloin? The sirloin actually comes from here to the back here. What happens during the maturation process? It gradually dries out. The first 10 to 12 days it's just resting, really. Yep. Then what happens is spores start to come on it. The dry aging there starts going around and circling around about it and you get a nice spore and you get a nice musky smell off it. And it starts drying out. You can see this nice coloration it's getting here yeah. around about the fillet here. And the longer you do it, the drier it gets. So we like to age it for 21 to about 28 days. So for Campbell's Gold, all Scotch beef? It's all Scotch beef, yeah. Now what about traceability? How can we be assured that this is exactly what it says it is? All the beef that we get into the factory, all the Scotch beef or anything at all has got a traceability. And when the beef is born, it's got a near tag put mm. onto its ear and that's traced from its hole through the gate to the plate. So people can mm. be reassured mm -hmm. that what they're buying is proper Scotch beef and it has been aged properly. Yep. And this is a whole long fillet. Now it's a well aged fillet. And of course the fillet is on the outside of the of the roast, so you're going to get this colour in here. Yeah. Of course, as a, as a muscle, it doesn't get used, so that's why it's so tender and soft. And the good thing about the dry aging, that firms it up a wee bit, so when you do come to trim it, it keeps its shape a bit better. So tell me the level of trim that you would uh, you would do in a fillet steak. We take the head off. Just cut back. Just yeah. cut the, the fillet head off there, which is your chateau beyond fillet head. For the barrel cut, you do a stand, the same as a sirloin steak, that you do a, a standard cut ladder trim. Sure. And special trim. Just a standard trim steak would be cut with the chain on. And the silver. Silver skin off. I would maybe just take a wee bit of the dry aged stuff off at the side there. This is our standard trim yep. fillet. No, this is a special trim okay. with the chain off. Mm -hmm. And we'd take just a wee bit of the back fat off here, this bit here. Just gotcha. To... So, you can see that that is almost barrel cut. And if we go for the yep. finest. Finest, which is ladder trim. Which is ladder. I'm just going to take the silver skin off now, which is just a bit of the top. So you really are trimming that really right trimming back. Really trimming this right back in there. I think that's my lunch, Jerry. <laughs> Standard trim. Standard trim. Special, special trim. trim. And larder trim. trim. Yeah. 